Hey, welcome back to Dojang on the Deck and nearly through color belt patterns. So let's have a look at Huarang now. So uh, we move on into red belt territory. Uh, one of my favorite patterns, Huarang, and I think because it's, it's so strong and it's absolutely laden with really good basic fundamental strong techniques. So this is a particular favorite of mine. Um, so we start off in close ready stance um, C and the first technique that we do is what's called a palm pushing block. So we step out into our sitting stance and we push with our palm to the side front. So there's no rotate in this, so a common mistake that we'll see is rotation of the hand. We just simply pull it back and push forward. Um, pushing blocks um, by nature will generally attach themselves and then they'll shove. So side pushing kicks will attach and push. Same with the palm, this one generally for the back of the shoulder will attach itself and then shove. And pushing techniques have a slightly longer breath. So it's not short and sharp, it's slightly longer. Yeah, and then we do our, do our punches. Okay, the second one is the upward punch. So um, a little hint for this one is if you think about the um, inward strike we did in Huan Yo, and I don't know whether you can see it from there, but we took the knife hand to about the shoulder, um, uh, sorry, the knife hand to the neck height, and but in Huarang, we take the fist and we move it underneath the chin. So very, very similar position. Okay, so remember the issue with the inward strike in Huan Yo was that it was generally too low, and no one has a neck way down here. So nice and high, and then when this turns into a fist, we bring it in for underneath the chin. So very similar position here, just a slight movement. And this one is quite circular, from our twin forearm block, up and underneath. And a nice circular movement and punch up. Okay, third technique is the release. So with the release, we need to kind of understand exactly what's happening here. So someone has actually got hold of your arm. And what's common is, I'll do it sideways, is you'll generally see students pulling the arm in. So when you're rehearsing this, what I want you to do is I want you to think about grabbing the fist, but taking the elbow forward. The fist doesn't actually move. So from here, take the elbow forward. And the release is actually when you perform your kick. So you do your side kick and you pull at the same time. Okay, so from here, slide up. So really the rear foot doesn't, I don't know if you can see that, but the rear foot doesn't really pivot to its side much at all. You just bring it in towards the front foot, perhaps about a shoulder. Take your elbow forward rather than your fist backwards here. And then you deliver your side kick as you pull down, up, down and strike. So from here we've done our punch, forward, kick and then strike. Okay, so really important after your kick, down, up, down. So create sine wave for the knife hand. So lots of balance in there. And lastly is the side elbow thrust. So with the side elbow thrust, the idea is to Move my mat here. Pull. So you can see the moment that shadow on the ground there, my foot is on the same line. So what I need to do is my foot will come slightly off that line and then it'll curl around and as I do my side elbow thrust it'll end up on the same line rather than moving itself straight across here on the angle. Okay so from here and sliding in this way. Okay, so the line your right foot is on is the line your right foot ends up on. So we come here, come in slightly, and it'll arc its way into our L stance with our side elbow thrust. Okay, from here we do it at normal speed so we've got time to move underneath for our elbow. And strike here. And a good L stance. And that's it. So, Huarang isn't overly complicated. 
but it's very, very strong. So it's, as I said before, it's really laden with some good, strong, basic, fundamental techniques. So I expect to see a very good huarang when you grade in front of me.